Hello Mallows, welcome to another video here at MSH and Explains. And today we are going to install a processor. The shots you see have been made while I was building my stream PC. And the processor you see is a 6950X, which has been made possible by AzRT.nl, which is a really great Dutch website. Uh, it's a web shop actually that sells computer parts and everything you need for your computer. I've been using them since forever because they have great service and usually one of the lowest prices in the Netherlands. So if you're Dutch and you need computer parts, make sure you go over to azerti.nl and use them. Double thumbs up for me. But now let me show you how to install a 2011 V3 CPU processor into its socket. Let's go. So to install a 2011 V3 socket processor into the motherboard, there's a certain order of things. You cannot open this pin, for instance, to begin to unlock the retaining mechanism for the CPU. So you first go this one, you press it in, slightly move it inward and it'll open up. Can't go too far, that's fine. And then you do the same for this side. Press it down, move it in slightly up and your CPU will unlock. You can now lift this up and it opens up the pins. Now you take your CPU and this is this is really important guys. This is really important that you know this. There's always an arrow in the corner of the CPU. You see this little triangle guys? I'll try to get it on screen. There's this little triangle, this little arrow. And there's a big triangle arrow on the socket as well. You drop in the CPU as gently as you can with both of the triangles lined up. Then you wiggle a little bit, making sure it's in. As you can see, triangle, triangle, triangles, Illuminati confirmed, yes. So once more, triangle guys, triangle. That means it's good. You lay down the retaining clip and you might, might think, what's that black thing? That'll jump off, that's really funny. If I now press it a little bit, bloop. There it comes, I'm a bit gentle, so I'll help it. There you go, this you put to the side. 2011 V3, first you do this one again. Move it down completely, make sure it hooks, that's good. Do the second one, there you go. You have installed successfully the 2011 V3 processor into its socket. As you saw guys, that is how you install this processor into its socket. It's not that difficult. Again, like the motherboard, be gentle. One really big tip, never, and I repeat, Never touch the pins that are in the socket. Never drop the processor on it. Never drop anything on it. Don't leave the pins exposed for too long as dust and mud and crud and you know stuff that doesn't need to be in there goes in there. Be really gentle with the pins. Trust me boys, don't fuck up the pins because you can throw away the motherboard probably. So once again, be gentle, take your time, you can do this. Have fun doing it, good luck, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.